Hey guys, Ethan here with a long awaited Delicate profile. Someone asked me this ages ago, but I need to get two last copies of a car. So obviously, Delicate Buddy, because Delicate Best Buddy. And I've got a Mayuga flag, a Gremlin flag on the way, so it will be changed to that eventually. And when I update it again, come dual chest, you will see that new Mayuga flag, hopefully. On to deck. With zero, says zeros. Free Delicate Death Hand. Says zero, three, one, one. If it's in the heart. If it's in the card of a deep, I may call it out. Sort of a deep monster, I may call it out. And at the end of battle, I may put this card from the... From, at the end of the battle of this card, I put it from the field into the soul of a deep. I may. So I can keep it around if I want, but usually it just goes into souls to keep... Give time more souls, or just anything with more souls. And it also keeps it around. Free pseudo. This guy's really good. When he's put into the soul of a deep from your drop zone or field, he can get your life. So, Talaka gains the life that it loses from other things, so it's really good. But three of it, it's 3 one, one size 0. Black Knight Deep. Unfortunately, not Black Dragon, but it is too good not to be. So, next, four Death Talaka 7. I originally only thought I'd be winning two or three of this, but because it'd be saying that's a size 1. If it was a size 0, it'd be Buddy. If it was once per turn, it'd be Buddy, but it's once per turn and it's size 1. So, only worth running at four because it's still worth running at solo four sorry and not buddy because it's still really 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 good. Five one one size one. Influx of grotesques when this card is put from the field to drop zone. I may look at top three cards in my deck and put up to one deep monster from among them is my hand and the rest in drop zone and then I may call a one deep call a deep monster from among them by paying its core cost. I only want to turn. So it's really good because devil stigma Black Ritual, that's why I run Black Ritual, like you see in a minute, because it's deep and Black Dragon, so you can plus off it, you can plus off it, and then mill two essentially and call one, so it sets with your grade really well, and obviously, good first turn play, call it down, Black Ritual, get a four out, and all that stuff. Pretty good, and you get decent gain out of it. Next, we run two Chaos Inverna. Basically, there's just room for this, these two could be anything, like. It could be the other black dragon that gains that is free crit and only one attack and you gain life or day one damage if you do more. It could be anything. But I only put this guy in because the black dragon, he has double attack, and that's basically about it. The second skill is good though, but 10 2 3, size 2, double attack soul guard, top card of deck is a soul and two gauge. And when this card is destroyed, each player mills two. So obviously it's not good against decks like Executioner, stuff like that. And but at the moment uh, in uh, Geek's headquarters, I do not have any executioners going against mostly, so it's not too bad the seconds go. If I was going in nationals, I'd probably choose this out for something else, but I don't know what yet, so because I don't want to help executioners and stuff. But it's still really good because it's not possible to turn the, sec the destruction ability, so you can double six with this on your own turn or black ritual, call this out, then black ritual it, and use soul guard to keep it around, do it like that, and then plus, and then just call a four or anything like that. And you still get the skills, so it's just a really good card for setting up Talica, and it's really cheap, which is obviously good for this deck. Next we play two new Talika because he's good, but he's not a four of like a thirty first what it was. At first I thought he'd be replacing the original Talika, but he's not. One reason is because of Soul Guard. Second reason is you have to put the holes from your mark from your field into his soul. If it was like five from drop zone or something, then he'd be buddy. But, and if it wasn't Soul Guard, but either way, he got two of them because he's really good for killing your opponent. Providence Gnawing, Dragon, Death Talica Zegele. 12 to 5, size 3. Put up, up to one or more, put one or more deep on your field into this card's soul and pay 3 gauge. So 3 gauge instead of 4, which is good. And act during your turn, put 4 deep from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck in any order. And if you do stand this card, so basically, obviously with all the milling that Talica does to get that uh, massive soul, you can use this in an offensive turn. So I, I've, gotten the, I've done the turns where this has reached almost 20 damage, like 18, 16 damage sometimes with this. That's including its first attack. So to say it's only two crit, that's a lot of attacks. So very strong card. And if you give it a lot of soul, which helps a lot, especially if you get Ripple's armor in the soul to give it uh, penetrate, really helps. Next, another MVP of the deck: Fora, Black, Dark Black Crystal Dragon Fora. Seven two seven size three. Top card of deck and soul, pay three gauge, so it's not too bad. And you can't be that damaged by effects. So whilst it's in the center, so penetrate, etc., doesn't happen. Uh, Crystal Pain, when it's destroyed, you deal damage to your opponent. Your opponent chooses a card from his other hand, discards it, and it only activates once per turn. But it has double tech, Soul Guard. Only downside ever before her is it's not Black Dragon, but I understand that Black Dra if you gave it Black Dragon, it'd be really stupid in Black Dragon decks. So I understand why they didn't, but it would be really good if you did. 
So, reel this card because it's really a good card just to sit on first turn or maybe second turn, even if you go first, go second, for example, you just slip, slap this down. But it's still got to get over it. If they've got rebel armors in soul, it's an 8 to 8 that deals, that affects harm nullified. Really strong card. And how, how the fact it has DP makes it really good. Next, 4 buddy, obviously, because it's Tarnaka.dex, so you run 4 buddy. Everyone should know what this guy does now. By now, 10 to 3, size 3, 4 gauge, or deep cards, and he drops only to the soul. And when it attacks, when it's attacked, or would leave the field, 3 cards for its soul to put the deck in any order. Dude can't get soul guard and double attack. Just buddy, like, it's standard. I will be, he's my best buddy. <laughs> he's, I know it's not a meta deck, but I'm gonna make this deck meta at some point, somehow, some way. I'll find a way. Oh, we, they, keep getting this amount of cards, they've gotta be good somewhere, sometime. Next, 4 excellent. Just simple Death Deep Charge spell, uh, mill 5, get a gauge. Then your deck of 6 cards. Sure, it's random cards essentially, but you move that. Excel End is basically just setting up for obviously Talica's soul, Talica's attacks, anything really. Yeah, it's to help you get that set up, and it obviously helps you for that gauge that you need desperately in this deck. Next, Forable's Armor. You can put it into your, the soul of a deep monster from your hand by just putting it to the soul from hand. Got to be into a monster. And the deep with this card and its soul gets 1k, 1k and penetrate. And the abilities of this card and that and Rebel's Armor can't be notified. My opponent's can't fix. This, this is literally all the deck needed from the newest set. From the new Dragon Knight, Darkness Dragon Wars set that came out, I think it was last month or so. This is literally all the deck needed. If it didn't get anything else, the deck was doing good with just this card. But we got the other stuff, so it helped it even better, but... Like I said, the deck literally only needed this card. This card is the real MVP of the deck. And obviously, top decking it off cards like a forest corn cost and stuff is always good. Next, four Death Gauge Timer. Even though. Probably gonna get a lot of, a lot of flatness. I don't need four. You only need maybe two. It has Black Dragon in its attribute. So you can uh, cast this. Top five cards into its soul. Cast. Black Ritual on this, destroy it, gain a gauge, life, draw two, and then you'll have six cards in drop that are, that should be deep, hopefully, with this. So it's an instant way of getting two soul, two life for Talica. Yes, it's not the best way, obviously, but it's a decent way of gaining gauge, and it also it's where it synergizes as well with Black Ritual, so why wouldn't we win it? It's just a really good card in general, and obviously you can kill your opponent's gauge, so if they're stalling and they're trying to gain gauge or something, you can kill it if you've got, this has got no cards in the soul at end of turn, so it's a really good card either way. Next, four stigma. We have cards that pop up being destroyed now. Talic, size one Talic, uh, uh, Chaos and Chaos and uh, Chaos and Verna, stuff like that, etc. So first turn you can slap down a size one Talic, uh, cast the point of attacks it, cast this, or use a thing to get rid of it back out to cast this, destroy it, gauge two, gain life, and then use skill of up size one Talica to look at top three, add one, then call one from hand, so it's really defensive, so you can call a four on your opponent's turn or something like that, or Inverna, for example. Really good card, always going to be a staple in deep, and I think it always will be, just because it's so good. Next, free Banquet of the Unrighteousness. Of the Unrighteous, not Unrighteousness. Uh, I should know what this does. Katna, Dark Dragon World, Assassination, Death, Deep, Executioners. Choose and use one of the following, you may only cast this one per turn. Look at the top three cards of your deck, put up to one monster from one of them into your hand, and rest your drop zone, or put a card from the, your drop zone face down into the soul of a monster on your field. Yes, you can use the second skill to put a Black Ritual or any card which isn't deep into Talica, because Talica's skill doesn't specify face up cards in the soul, it just specifies skull cards. So you can still put them to the bottom of the deck. Almost so. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't specify face up, and you don't have to show your opponent just in any order, so... You can put uh, anything which isn't deep with this card's skill into the Soul Talica, giving it possibly an extra life, but we basically, basically only use it for the first skill. So look at top three, add one monster, and the rest is all. Rest of drop. If you get add a monster, sure. That's fine, you get plus zero, because this is a card, and then you get a card anyway. And it's a deep in drop, so you get to get three deeps in drop, hopefully. If not... You build free, so it's basically not bad either way. For deep anyway. For sure, ideally you want to see a monster, but either way it's not great. It's not bad. Next, four of the card we, that isn't deep. The only card which isn't deep in the deck. Black, Black Ritual. This card has made the deck really good. It's not doesn't cost a gauge, like the Abyss Symphony, the other draw card for um, deep. It doesn't cost a life, like Millions Edge. The other draw card, technically, for deep. 
it is just a non deep. That's the only problem with it. But it works well, really well with the deck. Like size one Talica, cast this, gain a plus off uh, that, and then use size one Talica's skill to then call something. Click top three, add one call or something. It's a really good card of all. You only cast it once per turn, but in a deck that mills, you're not going to see it that often. That's why you're four. If you want, if you're less like two, for example, you're not going to see it often. So when you want to see four, and plus, like I said, it works. It doesn't specify spell. It just says any black dragon. It doesn't specify monster size. So just any black dragon, including set spells, etc. Even items, for example, you can destroy items and it gains a skill. So it's really good in this deck. Uh, if you don't know what it does, black dragon spell, dark dragon word, destroy black dragon in your field. Cast cast destroy black dragon in your field. Gauge. Gain a life and draw two. Really good in your casting once per turn. Really good and helps the deck a lot. Next, for the item. And last but not least, sorry, for the item. Cursed Demon Idol. 3 1, free one item. Deep weapon. Uh, equip cost pay gauge. This card can attack even if there's a monster in your center, so really good. And souls of your deep monster in your center cannot be put into drop zone by effects of your opponent's cards. Another card that had that deep need in the league up. Yes, this can be destroyed, obviously, and its power and crit aren't that great, but it, and it costs a gauge, which also isn't that great, but we haven't really got a better option. This is the best card, because it's not Talica, just instantly dying to Loki, or anything like that. So you run four of it. You run four, obviously, like I said earlier, with Black Witch or something, you mill a lot, so chances of you seeing it are reduced, the less you run, because you mill a lot, so you're most likely to mill him, then you are drawing him, anything like that. It is a really good card. Like, just call it attacking for center and stuff like that, it's really good. So there's no reason not to. And that has been the longer way to deck profile. As I said, I'm going to be getting a Gremlin flag, so look around for that whilst I, till I get it eventually, hopefully. And when this gets updated, I'll have that hopefully and get it on camera for you guys. So I'll have an SP Talica and a Secret Flag uh, uh, Gremlin, so it'll go really, really well. Anyway, this has been Ethan from TJHQ. Signing off. Happy gaming.